Let's get the last one. Guess by the door! Take it out, Edie. Affirmative. Jordan didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't? Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No. The Geth have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. 
so will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. The civilian fleet will know their leader went down fighting, Admiral. It is more important you honor my last request. Do what I could not. Save my people from themselves. Geth activity. Everyone on board, now! Thank you. Thank you so much. Have you heard from the Admiral? He was trying to meet us. Did you see him? No. We've got to go. <laughs> Shepard, I heard about what happened on the homeworld, about Zalkoris. He didn't hesitate to sacrifice himself for his people, Admiral Garrel. The civilians you rescued told us of Corus's bravery. It was enough to convince their captains to remain with the flotilla. You know, the Admiral and I never voted the same way on any matter. I called the man a coward more than once. I wouldn't have lasted on Ranakarf as long as Zal did. His heroism will be remembered. I must return to my fleet. Thank you, Commander. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. Take it out from orbit. The Geth should be easy to clean up afterward. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes, it should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way. The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Get Fighter Squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that Fighter Squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. Commander, I gave Admiral into Anderson a reckless behavior in before. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to find... Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. I just figured... 
figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted the kick ass, just like everyone else. Commander, there's a new method. The civilian fleet is back in position. I always love the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> 